Well, I'm back out here on Pelican Point. Since I've uh, done the last video of the pelicans, you can see out across there, the water's uh, down a whole lot more. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the log out there. That's where I'm heading. If I can make it focus. Somewhere in there. So, anyway, I'll, uh, I've already walked maybe a half mile, and it's just, it ain't much further on around the corner, but I've never detected on that little uh, peninsula out there, but uh, I'm going to get to it sometime. This is not a uh, arrowhead or a bird point, but it's a chip off of one. And uh, the reason I want to show you that is uh, this point, I'm out on the point now. You can see where it goes over the other side and meets up where all the little chickens are over there. But uh, I bring my uh, wife and kids out here, and a little later on, uh, maybe a few weeks and take another couple of good rains you can come out here and actually uh pick up airheads and fill your pockets with them but uh you know the reason that got i got to thinking about coming out here to uh metal detect is over here on the end right at the edge there i've picked up a uh um an indian head penny a couple of years ago back before i ever started metal detecting so uh I'm going to look around. If I find an airhead or something first, I'll go ahead and show you. And then uh, it might be tough without the rains coming, cleaning everything up. But you can see there's lots of chips out here of uh, airhead chips. And uh, it's not just broken rocks. This is, was actually a spot. It's pretty obvious from the amount of uh, bird points and, and drill points and regular airheads that we found that this was a pretty heavily used area but uh, anyway I'm gonna turn off the camera till I find something worth showing and this is not a uh, arrowhead but it looked like one that was in process and was broken or just chips off one this is hand done and uh, this whole area is underwater all summer long it's spring through uh, late winter or early winter I supposed so uh, Anyway, that's the kind of stuff we pick up, but we are actually, we've got many, many complete ones. So, back on it. Um, so I just picked this up. This is pretty neat. Um, got a little circle, kind of, uh, I wish I could get this thing to focus. Can't tell if it's carved in it or mashed in it. But, uh, anyway, hoping to see that thing. Pretty neat, I'm keeping it. It's kind of dark on top, like it's been used for something. All right, keep looking around here. Well, it's been about 30 minutes. I haven't found a complete uh, arrowhead yet. So, I thought I'd just show you the chips I picked up. They're pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. That right there is the closest one that would have been near, you know, complete if it hadn't have broken. And there's the big rock I found. I picked this up because it has a little X carved in it. It goes all the way around the other side. I just thought it was neat. So anyway, just chips, and the only reason I picked them up is so I don't pick them up again next time. I'll uh, keep the ones that look kind of like airheads, and the rest of them I'll uh, throw out in the water. Some guys just come out by a minute ago on a boat, they're throwing out jugs. It's a lot of daggum jugs. Anyway, I'm going to start detecting now. I'm done. I'm headed back to my camp because the uh, wind started blowing. Uh, didn't find anything really right off the bat. Hadn't rained enough to wash the rocks off to find good uh, um, arrowheads and stuff. So, short video, so now you got plenty of time to go look at somebody else's videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.